This is a book recommendation for A Good Country by Lale Khadivi. The novel is suited to the requirements of the IEB curriculum, which requires that students should read an additional seven books by the middle of their grade 12 year. A Good Country is the third in a series of novels by Khadivi, but it stands alone. There's no need to have read the first two. The trilogy tracks the story of an Iranian family that flees to the United States, and they're coming to terms with living in a new country and striving for their version of the American dream. This novel is about the youngest son in the family, Rez, and how he becomes radicalized while living in the States. It's a coming of age story, so it does have some mature content, including references to drugs, sex, and religious intolerance. The author is Lale Khadivi, who was born in Esfahan, Iran, and emigrated with her family to the United States. Her debut novel, The Age of Orphans, won numerous awards. It was followed by the second in the trilogy, entitled The Walking, and then A Good Country, the novel that is the subject of today's recommendation. She's also an award-winning documentary filmmaker, focusing on topics to do with human rights. She's currently a resident of California in the USA. The front cover shows a boy paddling on his surfboard in the ocean. Book reviewers have stated that it's powerful and that the whole world should read the novel because of its naked, unflinching honesty. The blurb on the back cover is the following. Laguna Beach, California, 2011. Riza Cordy, a 16-year-old straight-A student and chemistry whiz, takes his first hit of pot. In as long as it takes to inhale and exhale, he is transformed from the high-achieving son of Iranian immigrants into a happy-go-lucky stoner. He loses his virginity, takes up surfing, and sneaks away to all-night raves. For the first time, Riza, now Rez, feels like an American teen. Life is smooth. Even lying to his strict parents comes easily but then he changes again. Falling out with the bad boy surfers and in with a group of kids more awake to the world around them who share his background and whose ideas fill him with a very different sense of purpose. Within a year, Riza and his girlfriend are making their way to Syria to be part of a Muslim nation rising from the ashes of the civil war. Timely, nuanced, and emotionally forceful. A good country is a gorgeous meditation on modern life, religious radicalization, and a young man caught among vastly different worlds. What we are left with at the dramatic end is not an assessment of good or evil, East versus West, but a lingering question that applies to all modern souls. Do we decide how to live, or is our life decided for us? The protagonist, 16-year-old Riza Cody, is just trying to fit in at his Laguna Beach, California public school. By day, he deals with the typical stuff of upper-class adolescents, weed, girls, and navigating the machismo of male friendships. By night, he retreats to the insular life of the child of immigrants. As he attempts to manage the expectations his family and society place on him, Rez searches for meaning in his life. Much of the novel is set in the town of Laguna Beach, situated in the state of California in the USA. It's a stereotypical middle-class place, the kind of suburb that we see so often in American films and sitcoms. There are lovely homes, beautiful beaches, 
but if you scratch the surface, you'll find that the teenagers in this town are living decadent lives, smoking pot, having sex, and goofing around. They are not keen to open their groups, their cliques, to anyone from the outside, which is the root of the conflict in this novel. Rez is the son of Iranian immigrants, born in sunny California, but not truly accepted there. The novel asks the question, is the USA a good country for all of its residents? The first page of the novel will give you a taste of the gritty and realistic content. It reads as follows. Laguna Beach, California, Fall 2011. They told him it was the best. There was nothing better. After they started at 12 and 13 and 14, his friends tried to convince him to try it. Rez, dude, they'd say, it's no big deal. You don't puke, you don't pass out. No one can even tell. It's like daydreaming, like that second just before you fall asleep, but for hours, they said. For the whole of eighth grade, their eyes glazed with the shine of the newly converted. And by tenth grade, they gave up, and now, start of junior year, it was habit to make fun of him every time there was occasion, every time they circled up to light and puff and smoke, these friends. If he wanted, it could have happened last night or even two weeks ago when Johnson's parents were in L.A. at an industry party and Johnson opened his house to anyone with a six-pack or a girl or a bag of weed. At midnight, Rez found them in the laundry room, empty beer bottles and half-smoked cigarettes all over the place, and he sat and drank and talked like everyone else. And when it was finally rolled and passed... Rez stood up right before his turn. I got a piss and walked out of the circle. Bullshit, coughed Johnson, the smoke coming out of his mouth in big clouds. We all know you can't hang, Rez, never have, never will. Those Persians keep a tight leash on their kids. He felt a few laughs at his back, but kept going, out of the laundry room, down the hallway, out of the house and into the backyard, where kids rolled around on the perfect grass, swam half-naked in the pool, and ran hand in hand to dark corners. He found a spot by the fence, beside the empty dog crates and gardening tools, and let go. His heart one big pump and burst, pump and burst, as the piss rushed out of him in a long, furious stream. If you think you would enjoy A Good Country, look out for the other books by Lale Khadivi, in which you can read the family background of Riza Kodi and how his family got to the States in the first place.